Hello, in this video I'm going to show you <coughs> how to use function keys on to Toshiba Dynabook TechCraft. So as you can see on your laptop there are several function keys and what I mean by them they are either the F1, F2, F3 and so on up until the F12 but also some keys have special icons on them and what these icons mean, um, I'm gonna explain in a moment. So, um, the, <clears throat> the, 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 the buttons like F1, F2 and so on are generally a legacy and they aren't really used that much anymore and it's app dependent, so I can't really explain what they do in general because in different apps it will work different, differently. I know for sure that in most of the apps the F1 key will open help. So if I open like the Microsoft Edge, the F1 will open help. The F11 in most browsers puts them on full screen. The F12 opens developer tools in browsers as well. Um, but it's really app dependent and uh, you should just read the documentation of the app if you want to use these function keys. They come pretty handy um, if you want to use uh, that um, app in like advanced mode or whatever. Uh, although I think the more important ones are the I icons that you can see on these keys. And they are not on, on this laptop, they are not only on the F keys, but also on 1, 2, 3, 4, and also on the A, S, and Z. So, um, in order to achieve them, you need to click on them combined with the F2 key. So if I click on F2 and the escape, that will mute my speaker. If I click on that again, it'll unmute it. Then the F1 and F11, F1, Fn and F1 will lock the screen. Then um, I'm gonna quickly unlock the screen. The F1 and F2, uh, I haven't found its function. It has uh, this like light bulb written on it and I really haven't found this uh, function for it, but maybe you will. And then the Fn and F3 just turns the screen off. And as you click on anything on the keyboard, it's, um, the screen is on again. Then there is the F4, which mutes the microphone. F5 which opens the projection settings so if you have another monitor plugged in then that's gonna come in handy. Mm. The F6 and F7 change the brightness. F8 turns on uh, the um, airplane mode so it just disables uh, the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi mm. so your laptop is good to mm. so your laptop can be used on airplanes then the Fn and F9 will toggle the touchpad off or on. Then here you can see the print screen and scissor queue. So if you click on Fn and print screen, it'll do a scissor queue, but honestly it just didn't do anything in my case. Uh, but with the insert or scroll lock, then for, for sure the Fn with scroll lock will turn on the scroll lock. Mm. <coughs> And then there are also buttons uh, here, but they, you can see there's like one and, and below it, but these aren't achieved with Fn. Instead, you need to turn off the numlock and now they will work as the, what's written on the bottom of them. If you click on the numlock again, the numbers will be active. Uh, now uh, there's also the Fn and, F, uh, and uh, number one it will just uh, zoom out or zoom in with the number two. Although first you need to have the zoom, to, uh, zoom enabled mm, and I don't, didn't find it really good working. I think the built-in Windows zoom is better. If you just click on the Windows key and plus, it'll zoom in or zoom out. Mm, and then to close, just click on Windows and Escape. So I think they are better for the zoom matter. Mm, then the Fn and the A key will mm, open this 
sort of legacy function uh, which acts as a right click but using the keyboard as you can see right here uh, then you can also click on the fn and number three to turn the volume down or turn the volume up with the four mm, and you can also click on fn and s to open search mm, and fn and z to turn the keyboard backlight on or off and fn and space to change the display resolution but i don't really find it any useful mm, it just annoys me sometimes if i click on it by an accident and these are all of the function keys on your laptop that's all for today don't forget to like and subscribe see you next time